I'm here at Meridian City Hall, but I actually want to talk about the city of Nampa, and I actually get to talk about government people make correcting themselves when something's brought to their attention. Uh, which, so city of Nampa, I've been talking to them about records custodians and putting the name and contact email on the website, um, and how I don't, I'm not required to use the online form. So here's their email response I just got. Dear Mr. Gaylord, on behalf of the city of Napa, I'd like to extend our sincere gratitude to you for bringing to our attention the need to include necessary information regarding the custodian of records on our website concerning public records. We recognize the importance of transparency and accessibility, and we have updated our webpage to reflect this essential information. They did it! Here's the link to the updated webpage. And then they put a little snapshot uh, of what it looks like. And I took a screenshot of it too. I'll show you, show you that real quick. Um, here it is. There, see, easy. Name of the it says records custodian, then a name, and then the email. Just like that. See, so all the other government agencies or people should follow suit. Um, I can't make it to all of you. I'm trying to educate as many of you as I can on this as to and to why it's important. But uh, let me continue reading. Uh, your input is invaluable in helping us improve our services for the entire community. And we appreciate your engagement with us in making Nampa, Nampa a more responsive city also. We appreciate your statements about the process for submitting public records requests. You are correct that a citizen is not limited to using only the online form on the city's website or paper forms available at our city offices for this purpose. Do you hear that? They agree with me. They agree with me that I'm not required to use the online form like, like the Idaho State Police tries to make me do, like uh, the Ada County court clerk uh trent triple and daisy lewis are trying to make me do you know as a condition to receive a records request that's uh, unlawful uh, that's, but this kind of just shows they're they don't follow the laws they're just rogue they're just going rogue um they do make their own law they, they make up their own stuff and just go with it and there's nothing you can do well i don't know what can you do? There's a well, there's a remedy to like petition for the disclosure of records. So I don't know if you could even do that because if you can't even get a request to the custodian by email, but as if you don't do it, if you don't write it to the custodian, then they don't have to even consider it as a records request. It's what the law says, uh, 74103. Anyway. So yeah, they think I'm correct. I don't have to do the online form. So yeah, other, I'm, I can't make it to everyone, but if anyone can pass the word around, you don't have to do an online form and they are required by law to list their custodian with the contact name and email on their websites. Uh, so let's see. However, let's see. Those forms, oh, they, then they're like, those forms and resources are provided solely for the convenience of the public, making it easier for many to submit requests in a consistent and straightforward way. However, uh, I don't think it makes it easier for us, uh, but they're gonna, I don't know. I don't know why they, they do that. At least Napa's giving you the option now to email rather than just tr trying to make you do the online form. Uh, if you or any other citizen wish to request records in a different format, that's entirely acceptable so long as it complies with Idaho Code 741024 so the city can accurately and efficiently respond to the request. I'll have to look over what exactly that one was again, but uh, thanks once again for your feedback and for helping us enhance the accessibility of our services. If you have any more questions or suggestions, please feel free to let us know. Thank you. Um, Char Tim, the city clerk, city of Nampa clerk's office. 
Thanks, Char Tim.